Okay, so now it's time to move on on fretboard geography, and we're going to move on to change our way of thinking. Instead of thinking flats, now it's sharps as we name every note through the fretboard. So now we're going to think about that gap between our two natural notes being the, the sharp name of the lower of the two. So in other words, if this is F, then this will be F sharp, G, G sharp. So you'll notice right away that for instance, this fret could be called G sharp. It could also be called A flat. It has both names. Now, the reality is, early on in your playing uh, in, this, in this program, you're going to be using those flat names a lot. But it's important that you know the sharp names, too. And for all of your work as a musician, you really need to know both. This isn't really that difficult. I'm not going to go through the whole exercise. You can do that on your own. But it's um, it's, it's great to know it. So here's, here's what we have. We have open E, F. Now this is F sharp. This is G. G sharp. A. A sharp. B. C. No sharp name between B and C. C sharp. D. D sharp and E. You can go ahead and do that on all four strings of the bass. Make sure you know the sharp names of every single fret on the fretboard of the bass on all four strings.